The woman in the viral photo of a biker flipping off Trump's motorcade has been fired over the image. Now this woman is Julie Briskman, who is a 50 year old mother of two. And she said she was stunned that someone had taken a picture of her giving Trump the middle finger. Apparently he was driving back from a golf course and she was along the route. And she said she gave him the middle finger a few times while biking and the picture was snapped by a White House photographer. It has since gone viral. Now as the photo circulated online, Briskman decided to tell her company, which seems like a, a, a right thing to do, right? Akima, and she told the HR department what was happening when she went to work on Monday. Now, by Tuesday, her bosses called her into a meeting and said she had violated the company's social media policy by using the photo as her profile picture on Twitter and Facebook. So the photo goes viral, she makes it her profile picture, which makes sense. She notified her company that it was going viral. There were late night talk show hosts that had talked about it, so she wanted to give them sort of a heads up. Then on Tuesday, uh, they fire her over this photo, right? In an interview, they said that we're separating from you. Basically, you cannot have lewd or obscene things in your social media. So they were calling flipping him off obscene, essentially, right? Now, Akima said that the photo could hurt their business because they are a government contractor. Unfortunately, that logic didn't seem to hold true in other cases. Now, there was a male colleague that actually kept his job after recently posting lewd comments on his Facebook page that actually featured an Akima LLC as his cover photo. This colleague was reprimanded for calling someone a effing libtard asshole on Facebook, but was allowed to delete the post and mm. kept his job. So it seems like there may be a little bit of a political bias there. Yeah. Um, and so it seems Seems absurd that he would keep his job for saying that, but then flipping off, you know, Trump's motorcade. That seemed as more obscene and more lewd than using that sort of of language online. Which is just, I mean, if they do have that political bias, right? If they are lean conservative or lean Republican, it seems sort of antithetical to a lot of the rhetoric that you hear when Republicans are talking, right? They're all like against this PC culture and this and that, and then somebody flips somebody off. And they fire over that? It doesn't make sense. It I feel like you can't sense. do anything anymore without <laughs> without getting fired or having a consequence. I mean, and that's kind of the dangers of social media. Hannah knows my take on social media. And you know, there's a lot of perks, but on the downside, if you do something like this, which is freedom of speech technically, and then you put it as your profile picture on Facebook, and then people identify where you work, they kind of go hand in hand. So I don't really agree with her using it as her Facebook um, photo. But at the same time, it's kind of crazy that she got fired over that. I, I mean, think that's I think exactly right. I, I, that, that you have to say, hey, listen. I mean, you're asking for it. You are you looking really for are. trouble. If you, you're if looking you make for it, trouble. You're, you're making your profile picture, and yeah. then you go to HR and you actually point it out to them. And you come you on, might now. have actually been able to get away with it. Right? Come on. You Although, know what I mean? if you make your profile picture, probably not. But the, but but there was nothing in the picture that necessarily indicated who she was, you know? So there could have been a certain amount of anonymity, but clearly she wasn't good with that. She went and She was proud of what she did it. and whatever, that's your business, but then to make it as your, you know, your social identity, it just and then, you know, what if people go to that business and say this this employee is working there and she did this and this and this and then it becomes their burden and responsibility. You know what I mean? So I feel like they didn't really have a choice but to do that. But the last thing on that is uh, on the posting is that if you're aware of the culture at your organization, right. then you should be aware yes, of point. the kinds of things that you yeah. can post on social media. But exactly. And, and, exactly. But, but having said that, there is clearly the kind of mm -hmm. contradiction that Hannah was just outlining, yeah. which is, look, there's a well, lot I of can, yeah. I can I can call these people effing libtards and get a, and, and that's not obscene and you know. So don't she, post your I occupation. Mean, but, if you're going to do all that. But just, real, but real quick, no, because if we're talking about culture, right? I mean, yes, there's a political aspect to the culture, but if you're looking at the culture of a company and somebody can get away with saying, you know, effing libtard asshole, then you're going to think that this is totally innocuous. I mean, this comparatively. Is not the same sort of at all. Comment. And on the obscene scale, it's and not. it was on yes, on the obscene scale. And they and should have had consequences too, though. And and they said effing libtard asshole on a uh, Black Lives Matter uh, thread. I mean, it seems like that is so absurd and, and out of line. And I, I I just I feel a little conflicted, right? Like I do think. 
that to some extent, like you should be able to express, express yourself. yourself how you please in your free time, right? If you are on company time, if you are in a business situation, that is another story. And that's what she said, and this I wasn't think, company time. Right, this wasn't company time, and so I do think that, I mean, social media complicates it, right? Because people can see where you work, especially with this guy. He had it as his cover photo where he worked. Yeah, don't post where um, you work. I mean, well, come on. Well, let's, but also, like, let's have like a little bit of like freedom of expression. I mean, I do agree you know with I mean? that, but I do feel like she was asking for it in this case. But let me let me ask a question though. Do you feel like in our society we do kind of base things on our own political views? Don't you? Do you think that um, liberals do that as well, or do you think it's just something that the right does more? No, I, I, I've, I think I think like in this scenario, if I had seen somebody flipping off Obama or uh, Bernie Sanders. And had their job or, listed. And had their job listed, I don't think they should be fired. Of course not. I mean, I we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna get to a story, uh, the next story that we're gonna do is talking about Rand Paul being assaulted. I don't agree with Rand Paul, I don't think he should have been assaulted. Like, you know what I mean? Right. Like, I, the, you can disagree with somebody's political opinions or you can agree with them or whatever, but like still, I think there's certain, uh, you know, courses of action that should not take place. I don't because think she should have political. lost her job. I just think she was kind of inviting. She conflict. said she was well, like, we, yeah, we kind of, so, I think, all agree yeah. that maybe we it all, wasn't the smart thing. But, yeah. uh, but I, uh, I mean, to your point, though, it's ironic because uh, the side of the aisle that calls out snowflakes all the time mm. for political correctness can't take a little, you know, somebody flipping little, off the president and traffic. Right, yeah. Come on, I mean, that's, I mean, that's snowflake. And she wasn't I mean, doing any a, harm. I mean, it was clearly just expression. I mean, yeah. I thought it was funny. I, I when it first broke, I think maybe I tweeted it or liked it or whatever yeah. because I thought it was just funny. She's doing know. something that a lot of us feel. Yeah, yeah. And, and plus, I mean, she <laughs> wasn't. It wasn't a picture of her in front of the White House with some controversial. Right. So she wasn't she really wasn't in the heart anyone. of intense controversy. But I think, as we've as we've all now said, you kind of got to know the territory, and her territory was really. Not don't put so your occupation to being, on yeah, social to media. If but they ask your someone, occupation on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, but they I ask where you work. I don't put it though. I don't put the specifics as to what I do. I say in general what I am, but I don't put like the you know specific places that I contribute to because I just don't want people. I don't. It's just too much information. And I feel like if you're an outspoken person and you have social media, there are things. Unfortunately, I'm not agreeing with it, but there are things. Unfortunately, that you have to do in order to have a safe space for your opinion. Because if you don't do that, then people will. Will disagree with that and they will ultimately fire you like this woman. You know what I mean? So I have friends who they don't really put their government name on Facebook. They have another name and they don't put their occupation. And so they it's like their free space to, you know, and they know all of their friends, um, you know, that they have on Facebook and they it's it's their free space to kind of, you know, say what they want and do what they want. And you know, I feel like in that right, if, if that's what you want to do, if you're if you want to have your profile picture like that, then you shouldn't have your occupation under there. So if she had <laughs> if she had her profile picture like that, but she hadn't listed her occupation, how would that have changed it? Meaning, if, if and she still went to maybe HR it would have taken a little longer for them to identify yeah. who she was, and then yeah. her get fired a month later, as opposed to <laughs> now. But I feel like I, I don't know. Look, I think I'm if just you, saying. I think if you are like taking a picture of yourself, like listen, I'm not up. for it. She should you know have what her I job. Mean? Like that's one thing. But this is like, I mean, look at that. It's, like, this it's is in the it, most yeah. innocuous she's thing really in the entire And you can't world. even she's tell who she is. This is so It's not like absurd. she's wearing a company jacket. I mean, come yeah, on. Yeah, no, too absurd. Help us build independent media together. Come join us, tytnetwork.com slash join.